Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Yaka Kodash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father in the ancient Hebrew. Bahasham meaning in the name of Yahweh Shai, his only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. I want to give double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. All right, now what you're seeing before you is a uh, picture. All right, this is a, uh, a picture, a post um, from Instagram. All right, and it's uh, now this picture here. All right, I don't know the exact context in which this is happening. All right, but this is one of those where, you know, people take a picture of something and then they, you know, they'll put their caption on it, so to speak. Now, the reason, all right, that I'm doing a video on it is because Though this may not, you know, I don't know what what's going on here, and you know, in actuality, what what the actual situation is, I don't even know who this person is, but the caption with the picture, all right, is actually a thing that happens. Okay, it's actually a mindset, all right, that goes on here in Babylon, all right. I should say mainly here in Babylon. Okay, and that's what I'm addressing in this video. Okay, this this mindset. Okay, now, as you can see, it says, my husband getting me ready for a night out while he stays at home with the kiddos. And when they put that little greater than sign, it's sort of like, you know, like that's like it's a good thing, you know, like it's it's great, you know, it's better than whatever, you know, you know, and as I'm, you know, I'm, I'm looking at it. All right. You know, and all these different various scriptures are coming to mind. All right. Now. Imagine, you know, a natural scenario like this, okay, because <laughs> you best believe you actually do have individuals, you know, out there, you know, that'll actually fit exactly this scenario. You, <laughs> says my husband is getting me ready for a night out. Now, just look at the way she's dressed, okay, and, and like I said, taking the idea of this because it actually happens, all right, and dealing with that idea, that that concept, that scenario in which it happens. If you are here, you're out here getting your woman ready, quote unquote, for her for her night out. All right. Now, where exactly do you think she's going dressed like this? You know, look at look here. I mean, she barely has clothes on. All right, her whole shit is showing. And and you're getting her ready dressed like this to go out while you stay home and you quote unquote watch the kids now like i said earlier where do you think she's going dressed like this and who do you think she's trying to impress all right because if if you know if really you just you know you're about your man then why are you going out dressed like this what's your what, a night out what happens when women have their quote-unquote night out and what do the scriptures tell us about nights out women's night out you know dress like this where do you think she's going likely to a club a party all right and who do you who do you, you think you think when when women go to these parties these are just all women parties all girls parties we just come here we laugh we giggle we talk about guys and we we, we you know we play footsies and then we go back home no all right they go to these clubs and these quote-unquote parties where you got other dudes over there who are out here looking for women now when she goes over there all right dressed like this what do you think is going to happen she's going to attract eyes she's going to attract attention there's going to be somebody over there that's going to come over there who doesn't care whether she got a man or not you don't even know if she's going to tell him that she got a man all right because she's out there, she's out. You don't know what she's doing. You don't know if she's going, you know what I'm saying? Getting a couple of drinks in her. All right? And now, she comes home 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Because, you know, when, when look, man, night out, dressed like this, equals coming home 2, 3 a.m. Sounding all crazy, looking all crazy. You know? And he's just, hey, honey, how was your night out? I hope you had a great time. You know, she might have been having a great time with some other dude. Okay, but this is the this is what goes on here in Babylon. All right, <laughs> man, to even allow your woman out dressed like this is a, is an issue. You want to talk about 
my husband getting me ready for a night out while he stays home with the kids. The type of BS, man. Now, see, only here in Babylon, because in in the ancient world or in different parts of the world, you know why you'll seldom see this? All right, you'll rarely see this? Because it ain't like over here, you got street cameras, street lights everywhere, you know, people all constantly. No, 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 no. Cops, yo, 911, no, no, no. Over there, you step out like this, walk into the wrong area, you'll be lucky if you come back, you know, untouched, all right? Or if you come back at all, because somebody going to see you, and you know what? The second they see that, forget it. They coming for your ass. They taking you, and when they take you, you ain't, ain't going to, nothing you can do about it. You, oh, my, my, my girls are here. What the hell are they going to do? This ain't Powerpuff Girls, you know? But anyway, let's get some scriptures, all right? And ultimately, this is why you see this is why we tell you, you got to be men because no man in his in his right mind, an actual man, is gonna end up in a situation like this. Like I said, dealing with the actual situation of this because trust and believe this this is a real thing. Because where where the hell do you do they get this kind of mindset from? This is an actual thing, and and people think that this is him being a good man. Oh, you got yourself a good man, girl. He stays at home and watch the kids while you go out and be a whore. Oh shit. Wow, you you hit the lottery. And then some shit happens to you while you out. And who, who does it come back to? This simple-minded bird brain. Okay? Um, so, and, th and this is why you have to, you can't, you know, especially us, you know, being men of the Lord, you got to be a man first. And there's specific ways that, you know, the scriptures tell us in how we have to be and how our women have to be. Okay, and if she's not going accordingly, you put her in check. And if she doesn't want to be in check, then you let her go her way and you go your way. All right. So this is the book of Ecclesia. And, and really, that's why the scriptures say that um, uh, well, as for my people, children are their oppressors and women rule over them. Okay, because that's some BS right there in that in that picture. So this is Ecclesiasticus chapter 26, verse 8. A drunken woman, and they gather abroad, causeth great anger. Okay? So, when they go out to these clubs and so on and so forth, what happens? They get a couple drinks in them, da-da-da. And at that point, as it tells you in, um, I believe it's in the book of 1st Ezra, it's around the third chapter or so, when when these, these different individuals came out and, you know, they came to tell the king, okay, what you know, what? what is the most powerful thing? You know, one said the king, one said wine, and one said, you know, uh, women. Now, dealing with wine, one of, when he was going into it, explaining it, he said, look, when you get intoxicated, you're no different from a child, you know? You, you may go from, you may be a king, you may be, you know, up there, but when you get drunk, your mind, you know, is, is in disarray. You're not thinking clearly, okay? And that's the perfect opportunity for demons, Especially, look, man, clubs are where you have the biggest adultery demons, okay? So, you you have, imagine this, she's drunk, right? She's drunk, so e demon, uh, she's a weaker vessel, number one. Number two, she's drunk, so demons are easily able to come up in there and make her do something, all right? And then, you got another, you know, uh, 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 individual over there who, like I said, doesn't care because he, he, he sees her as a, at a club. Right, she could either tell him she's single. He, she could tell him she's not, and he could just not care, you know. Or it could just not be mentioned. And he's, you know, she, she's there. He's grabbing her, dancing. She's drunk, so she's dancing on him. Da 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 da. Okay, this is nice. They go to the bathroom, or they go into his car, or they go to his crib, or whatever happens. Now she comes back home. Oh, she was so drunk. She wakes up the next morning. She knows exactly what she did. You think she's going to come? Hey, honey. <laughs> By the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Last night, mm -hmm, I was on some other dude's shit, you know, riding him like a pony. You think she's going sit, to sit down and tell you that? No, she's not. You know? Or she might go and meet, meet some dude. Because these things actually happen, man. You know? See, in this society, men aren't going to sit back and think on the laws and say, hold up. No, I ain't going to. That's a, she's taken. I ain't gonna deal with that. No, man. Look at the way she dressed. Oh, she. Oh, I'm getting that. 
So they're not going to sit there and say, oh, let me back off. All right. So these things actually happen. Now, she it could be where she doesn't do anything that night. All right. But she meets somebody. Maybe they exchange numbers and so on and so forth. And now you're wondering why she's acting different. You know, you know, she's not really the same. The energy's off. She's always on her phone texting. Next thing you know, she because she met this dude at the club. He was he was cute. Maybe he looked better than you. Maybe he dressed better. Maybe he had more money. Maybe he had a nice car. Maybe something about it. Demon hopped on her. She's texting this guy. They getting close. Next thing you know, for that, since you wanted to be such a good old man, right? Allow your woman to go out late at night by herself, dressed like a whore, all right? And you stay home and watch the kids like a good old boy. Guess what? She's going to repay you with that favor by waiting to, okay, when does he work? All right, she, all right. Next thing you know, she's texting the dude. Oh, yeah, 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 he's out. He ain't going to be back till like five, da, da, da. You could come over and then boom. And that's why it says, a drunken woman and a gather abroad causeth great anger because she's going, yeah. All right. She's going, she's going to end up doing something, you know, then eventually you're going to find out, you know, or, or you know, whatever it may be. But then again, it's both ways because a lot of these individuals don't have a backbone. They don't, they won't stand up and say, well, where the hell do you think you're going? You know? Oh, okay. Bye, honey. <laughs> you have a great night. Okay. I'll take care. <laughs> you know that, <laughs> you know, that's the mindset that they walk around with. That, you're not a man. Okay. How are you getting led by your woman? And you, you, you got a lot of these dudes walking like dogs on a leash and the woman is carrying the leash. You know? complete 180 man completely flipped that is not the righteous order of things but like it says and and she will not cover her shame verse 9 the whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and her eyelids okay now haughty looks you know also goes into her look her countenance all right the, the, the attitude she has on her face, but also in the way she's dressed, okay? And if you look up the word haughty, it says here, blatantly and disdainfully proud. Because, one, they'll, they'll, they, they'll make that face as if you're, they're, they're too good for you. Like, who are you? Why are you walking up? To, why are you even next to me? Kind of thing, all right? Or they'll dress that way you know, and they'll walk around and you're you're dressing provocatively. All right. Let's look up the when you provoke, <laughs> let's look up the word provocative. All right, it says action or speech that makes someone annoyed or angry, especially deliberately, testing to elicit a particular response or reflex. All right. Now, a lot of a lot of people get touchy when you talk about or how women dress, how they're supposed to dress. Yes, there is a way you're supposed to dress. Do you know why? Because the way men are made, it, it ain't about, oh, well, men got to control themselves. When a man sees something, a, a, a woman, all right, of beauty or whatnot, it's natural to, uh, you know, to get that feeling inside you, you know, of like, yo, what's up? You know, like your, your senses go up, you know, but of course, you gotta, you know, check yourself and make sure. I right, if she if she's, you know, your body naturally has a certain innate reaction, but your spirit checks your body and says, "All right, well, is she single? If she's not, and 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 you got the right mind, all right, and you in the right spirit, you you you'll lose that, you know, that desire just instantly disappear. You know, you won't you won't feel any. You, you ain't wanna, gonna want to lust after a woman that got a man. You know why? Because the feeling of fear is going to override that feeling of lust or desire, you know? Because you're going, well, well, hold up now. I ain't trying to go off. So, nah, uh, 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 you know? But if she's single, it's a different story. Now, when you see a woman, it's mainly your eyes, what you see, all right? You see something, that's how you know you like it. You really got to see it first. And then you desire, a lot of desires through the eyes, man, what you see. So, knowing that this is how things work, you dress a certain kind of way, 
you will get a certain kind of reaction. Okay? People react to what they see. All right? And, you know, really is mainly what you see first. So provocatively is you're provoking, a, you know what kind of reaction comes. You know what kind of reaction comes by dressing a certain way. You know what kind of reaction comes by saying certain things, you know? So when you dress provocatively, knowing what happens, you are provoking a reaction. So you, so they'll dress provocatively, and then when they get the reaction, then they get, quote-unquote, get tight or they act proud. But you know what, though? A lot of these women, when they get that reaction, they, they, put, they put the stuck-up face and they keep walking as if they, they ugh, ugh. But really, in the back of their mind, they like it. You know why? Because a lot of them are attention whores. Negative or positive, they're like, yeah, they notice me. That's what they want. Now, let a woman walk through and nobody says anything. Ignore her as if she's not there. Science, science it's a Babylonian woman. Science going, it ain't, she going, she going to walk back. She going to moonwalk backwards and then walk again. Probably drop sign and act like she's picking it up on purpose. Because she, she, she's like, why the hell am I dressed this way and I'm not getting the attention? I need the attention so that way I can act proud. I could, oh, don't talk to me. Eh, who are you? Eh. Because they, they, they feel some sense of I'm above you. Some, you know, that haughty spirit. They get to express that when people give them the opportunity to. All right. So as it says here, um, where are we at? Right. Uh, the whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and eyelids. All right. And you, man, you you just know. You just know, all right? If she was single, you just know. You dress like this, man. You you, you even <laughs> look that way. It would do you, yeah. You know? Man, it's, hey. Verse 10, it says, If thy daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly, lest she abuse herself with herself through overmuch liberty. And this applies to your daughter, but it also applies to your woman. Okay? Knowing, all right, the, the society we live in, knowing the fact that people ain't, people, another man ain't going to prevent your woman from committing adultery for you, all right? When you give her over much liberty, you can't, it's, it, she's going, you know what I'm saying? She's living in a society full of temptation, all right? So you also got to, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, a, it's a both, it's both sides, man. But a lot of these men don't have backbones. They're not actual men. So their women go around doing shit like this. And then when their women eventually, they get tired of it. They find the man can't really, he's not, he doesn't have a backbone. He doesn't stand up. He doesn't do anything. Then she leaves. And then he wonders why she left. All right. Verse 11, watch over and watch over an impudent eye and marvel not if she trespass against thee. All right. Now let's look up the word impudent. Uh, impudent. All right. It says here, not showing due respect for another person, impertinent. All right, insolent, cheeky, shameless. All right, and that's what that's what a lot of them are. It, you can't talk to me like that. You know, mouthy, talking back. You know, all, all of that that proud spirit. It, watch over an impudent eye. If you, if you know your woman or your daughter's like that, you gotta you gotta be on top. You know, you got to you got to be on top. You cannot let her dominate you. That's it. It says that marvel not if she trespass against thee. She will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler when he hath found a fountain and drink of every water near her. OK, this ain't talking about uh, uh, her, her, you know, what I'm saying buying water at a vending machine. No, 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 no. She will open her mouth. As a thirsty trap, as a thirsty traveler. All right, so this, this you know, you, you know what that means. All right, if her mouth is open and it ain't food going in there or actual water going in there, what what you think is going up in there? All right, as a thirsty traveler. It says um and drink of every water near her. All right, meaning she's gonna blow rod, but. Uh, by every hedge will she sit down and open her quiver against every arrow. What, what, what you think that? What what do you think that is? A quiver is a hole, and an arrow is something that goes into the hole. 
So if she opens her quiver, her hole, her hole for an arrow, something that goes into that hole, what you think that means? But this is what happens when you don't watch over, when you give her liberty to get abroad. All right. When you, when you, when you, how did they say? When you get her ready for a night out while she stays at, while you stay at home with the kiddos. Basically, you asking her, you basically telling her, hey, go ahead. I'm pre I'm preparing you to go commit adultery. That's really, you know, <laughs> or I'm preparing you to go tempt another man to commit adultery. All right. Moving on. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 25, verse 25. Give the water no passage, neither a wicked woman liberty to gad abroad. That going out night girl party, this or that. Which what for what? For what? Do 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 we not know what happens in these locations? I'm pretty sure certain individuals, right? At one point in your life, you might have gone to a club. When you go there, what do you expect to find over there? Why do you go there? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's a reason people go to those kinds of places. All right. So if you give her liberty to go to these kinds of places, what what do you you know what I'm saying? What do you expect to happen? All right. So the scriptures tell you what not to do. It gives you, it tells you how you're, how you are supposed to be, but also how your woman is supposed to be. All right. It says, if she go not as thou wouldest have her, cut her off from thy flesh and give her a bill of divorce and let her go. So if she's not trying to hear that, she wants to be proud and she wants to go do what she wants to do and you know, all that. Hey, let her go, man. Let her go her way. That's it. You keep it pushing because she's only going to bring you stress, man. Say some shit happens while she's out. How's that going? And you give her the car keys. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, she is drunk as hell. Gets into an accident. Who Who's getting a call at 2 a.m. in the morning? <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what happened. He just came out of nowhere. <laughs> Were you drinking? Not really. Just I just had a couple. And now you got to deal with all that. All right? Because you... You know what I'm saying? You didn't you didn't stand up and, 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 and stop that. All right. Now this is the book of Titus, chapter two, verse seven. And it says, In all things showing her matter of fact, let's go up to oh uh, man. All right, let's go up to verse three. It says, The aged women likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers, nor given to much wine. Teachers of good things. But a lot of these women don't teach their daughters good things. All right? And society makes things that are bad and things that are unlawful seem good. They'll give you an award for that. You know? They'll make memes about it. Right? So verse 4 says that they may teach the young women. Now, so what are, what are they supposed to teach the young women? What are the young women supposed to do? To be sober? To love their husbands, to love their children. Now, if you love your husband and children, what, what, what you need to go out by yourself dressed like that for late, late at night when your husband and kids are at home? Aren't, aren't they the ones you should be, you know, with? Okay, so what do you, you know what I'm saying? You ain't going out with him. You know, it's not a family outing. It's not a, any of that. <laughs> you know, and then some shit happens and you wonder why. You know? That's why in the ancient world, men had a, a, a you know had a very very close eye on their daughters and their women, because they knew that you know if you don't, something could happen, but it'll come back on to you. You know, you think in the ancient world you're gonna sit there talking about yeah I'm gonna let my woman go go to you know a uh, 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 an activity a festival festivity whatever late at night hell no there was a time at a certain time. You lock your doors, everybody's inside. We all going to sleep. <laughs> you know? Ain't no me, kids, no, no, no. If anything, the man used to go wherever he had to go, and she, the woman would guide the house, stay at home, watch the kids. All right? Because if if, if she was... Out, the chances of, of a woman getting taken by a man are far greater than a man. A man is out by himself, and a woman going to pop out the bushes on him. Boom. Hey, what's up? You know what I'm saying? I see that bulgy in pants. I'm, I'm trying to... What, what? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, in the ancient world, men knew that shit, things like this could happen. 
So they made sure to take precautions to avoid it. And that's why they, there's writings like this telling you how you should be, how and how your household should be. Okay? So it says, um, but you know what, though? When all hell breaks loose, they're going to have all the liberty to get abroad. But that's when they're not going to want to. You know why? Because it's not going to be safe. Right now, you could call 911. When in Jacob's trouble, ain't no such thing. So let's see if in Jacob's trouble, you want to walk around dressed like that out there when people are just wild doing whatever they want. Women getting taken left and right. Let's see if you wanna you wanna you wanna talk about my man gonna dress me up and I'm gonna go have a a, a, a a night out. See if you survive a night out in Jacob's trouble. All right, but it says here, verse five, to be discreet. All right, now what's the word discreet? Let's look up the word discreet. You know what it means, but let's get a see what it says here. It says of a sound mind, sane. All right, in one sense, curbing one's desires. Whoa. Hold up. Curbing one's desires and impulses. Self-controlled, temperate. And that is, these women are everything but, or majority of these women here in Babylon are everything but discreet, according to the word we just read. Okay? They, they, they act on impulse. All right? They're not self-controlled. They're not temperate. Okay? It says, chaste. Keepers where? Keepers where? Keepers at home. Keepers at home. All right? Keepers at home. Not having your man getting you ready for a night out. A night out. No, no, no. Keepers at home. That's what the scriptures say. So a, a man of a man first of wisdom is going to know not to end up in a position like this doing shit like this. Like I said, this is this is this is the picture based off of the idea. All right, it's, a, it's sort of like a quote unquote. Um, I guess you could call it a meme, not in the hilarious way. All right, but in the in the the caption, right? So it says, um, "Obedient to their own husbands." All right, not to another man telling you, "Yo, shorty, you look good. Get in my car." But they're gonna be obedient to him, but they're not gonna be obedient to their own husband. It says that the word of the Most High be not blasphemed. All right. Verse six: Young men likewise exhort, or uh, ex exhort, to be sober-minded. And in all things, so this side of women supposed to be, but this side of men are also supposed to be. It says, in all things, showing thyself a pattern of good works, in doctrine, showing uncorruptness, gravity sincerity and now let's look up the word gravity all right that's the main part all right it says some note let's read let's hear that g4587 semnates semnates right semnates it says here the characteristic of a thing or person which entitles um to reverence and respect dignity Majesty, sanctity, honor, purity. This is what this is. This is the characteristics you're supposed to have: dignity, majesty, respect. All right. Now, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Shit like this, man. Nah, nah. All right, but it's because a lot of men lack that gravity, and so their women think it's okay to do things like that because the men allow them to do it. And then they do it, and then they, you know, that that becomes, they become headstrong, that becomes, yeah. So, now, let's say later on the man wanted to put a stop to it, all right, it would be extremely difficult, damn near impossible. Why? Because he's already established where his value is at. He's established where his, where he puts it, he's established in her mind that he doesn't have that backbone. So, if now he tries, it, it, it comes over, well, you know what I'm saying, like, that's weird, that's different, you know? Who, who you, you know what I'm saying, who, who, what, since when, right, since when, you know, because one thing is, um, for example, setting a value on something, that has to be done upon the first, the first value set upon something is mainly what's, you know, uh, uh, perceived as, as its value, right, if you have like a car, and the first price you mention on that is maybe 3000 if you come back again and say, nah, 5000 that's going, they're going to say, yo, you're wild, that's too much, Right, if you say 
500, that's too little. But why is that? Because it's based on what you first uh, put, what, what the first value you put on, on that car. If you had put it at 9K, all right, and you come back and you say 5K, that's not going to be too much, okay? Because originally they had now put in their mind, all right, this is a $9,000 uh, car, okay? But anyway, they don't have that gravity, all right? It says, uh, verse 8, sound speech that cannot be condemned, all right? And a lot of them, if you, you know, if you're a wise man, all right, and, and you, you know, you, you have the wisdom and knowledge, really, of your Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, your, your, your speech, all right, cannot be condemned because you're not speaking out of your own mind. You're not speaking just, just to speak. You're speaking with reasoning. So you don't even have to yell. The words that you're speaking will just make so much sense, all right, as to why, you know what I'm saying, it cannot be condemned. Even certain questions. Sometimes you just got to ask certain questions, all right, and, you know, within within asking those questions, whoever it is you're talking to will realize, look, uh, you're right, you know, you're right, you know, because when you ask those questions, you make that individual themselves, basically, you make them call themselves out, you know. So what are you what are you really gonna do? Oh, I'm just gonna have fun. What do you what 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 fun? You can't have fun with us at home. What what are, you, what are you gonna do? You know what is it? You gotta you gotta actually you know verify. All right, you gotta you gotta get to the core of things. You can't just leave things covered up. You gotta get to the core of it. But like it says, sound speech that cannot be condemned, because there's nothing to condemn about it because it's sound. All right, and you have a. A, a, a fallacy, then you can you can find that within your speech. But if your speech is sound, you have a sound argument, you have a sound speech. All right, they, it's you know it can't break through. It's impenetrable. It says that he that is of the contrary part may be ashamed, having no evil thing to say of you. All right. So um, yeah, I'm pretty much gonna end it here. All right. I believe I made the point. Lord willing, this is edifying unto the elect. Make sure you're not one of these individuals ending up in this position. Because now, like I said, based on this scenario, she comes back, you don't even know the half of it, man. All right? So follow what the scriptures say, all right? And just, hey, you know, and if you don't, you know what I'm saying, you don't have a woman, man, everything happens for a reason. The Lord got every, all of us, you know, in certain positions for a reason, you know? So we just got to just keep on pushing. And remember, your main priority is the truth, all right? It's the work of Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai. Everything else will be added on to you, all right? So with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakah Kudash. Until next time, Shalom.